How did Jollibee become successful? What business lessons can we learn to emulate their success? In this video, I'm going to share with you three business lessons I learned from Jollibee's success and how you can apply it into your business. Come on. Hello millionaires, this is Fibo Lim, your wealth and life coach. In this channel, we publish weekly content that will help you earn more income and achieve success in business and in life. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. Don't forget to ring the bell button so every time we publish a new video, you will get notified. So now, let's jump into the content. Jollibee is one of the fastest growing fast food chains in the country. The owner of Jollibee is Tony Tan Kaktion. Tony Tan Kaktion, Jollibee's founder, started his business venture way back when he was 22 years old, where he shelled out 350,000 pesos in an ice cream parlor franchise. As the business grew, they started hiring more people to help manage the business. After two years, he decided to serve hamburgers, fried chicken, and spaghetti. He noticed that the Filipino market wants to eat something that makes them full before they grab an ice cream. It was then they rebranded their business and changed their name to Jolly B, where B symbolizes being hardworking and Jolly means happy, thus representing them as a company catering to the happy and hardworking Filipino people. As the years go by, the company keeps on expanding here and abroad, establishing new businesses and partnering up with other food chains including Chow King, Greenwich, Red Ribbon, Mang Inasal, and Burger King. So what are the business lessons we can learn to emulate Jollibee's success? Here they are. Business lesson number one, don't reinvent the wheel. Notice that Tony Tan invested first in an ice cream parlor franchise. He didn't start from scratch. Instead, invested on an already existing business. This will help you minimize the risk and jumpstart your business venture. Many people have great business ideas, but they're often caught up from executing their ideas. Thus, by investing on an already existing business, you shortcut the planning, branding, and a lot of nuances that hinders a lot of people from taking action. Don't reinvent the wheel. Leverage existing businesses, concepts, and ideas, and most importantly, take action. Lesson number two, listen to your market. The number one reason they shifted from just selling an ice cream to serving hamburgers, fried chicken, spaghetti is because they listen to their customers. The demand of the product determines if a business will thrive or not. If you are selling a product with little demand, then your business may heed south. Unless you listen to your market's need and adjust your business to provide that solution, each customer's feedback, may it be good or not, is a hint for you on how to improve your business. Listen to your market and your business will thrive. And that's exactly what Jollibee has done. However, during 1989, McDonald's came into the Philippines which became a major concern for Jollibee. But as mentioned in our business lesson number one, why reinvent the wheel? Tony Tan went to the US to study McDonald's operations and studied how Jollibee can be compared with the American fast food chain. And here's what he found out. McDonald's excel over all aspects in business except product taste. McDonald's product taste suited Americans but not really for Filipinos. Jollibee's food tends to be sweeter, more spices, and more salty. They know that Filipinos have sweet taste on food, so Jollibee decided to serve spaghetti with a sweeter flavor. Filipinos like to smell everything they eat, which is the reason behind the tagline, Lang Hapsara. And that's why they cannot be Jollibee in the Philippines, which leads us to business lesson number three. Lesson number three, have a powerful branding and a strong mission. As what Tony Tan said in one of his interviews, we keep things simple and fill a simple need. Very tasty food at a reasonable price. To this day, I repeat to my people what my father told me. You have to make sure your food tastes really good. And that is their mission. The brand Jollibee caters to the hardworking and happy people and happy Filipino people. Combining their brand with their mission, offering tasty food at a reasonable price to the hardworking and happy Filipinos. 
and when your business has a clear goal and a mission, it will skyrocket to success, just as what Jollibee has done. And that's the three lessons I learned from Jollibee. Again, number one, don't reinvent the wheel. Follow a proven system. Number two, understand and listen to the market. Know what they want and give it to them. Number three, and lastly, be clear with your mission and have a powerful brand and skyrocket your way to business success. Question of the day, which business lesson struck you the most? Let me know in the comments below. I read each and every comment because I want to connect with you and have a conversation. Thank you so much for watching this video. Subscribe and ring the bell if you haven't. If you miss our previous episodes, check out more of our videos in this channel. And as a gift to my subscribers, I'm giving away a free digital copy of my book, Millionaire at 22. Just go to feebolian.com slash book or click the link in the description to claim your free copy right now. Until next time, this is Feebolian. Achieve success, live with happiness, and enjoy the good life. See you in the next episode.